Okay, okay. Gotta go quick. Go quick here. We are late. We are late. Let's get out of here. We are late for training. That's good. Alarm did not go off. Fucking love when that happens, you know? Ah. So we just set up the camera super quick. Yeah. And I just back out of the garage here. Hey Siri, play me a hype song. Sure. Here's some music picked just for you on Apple Music. That's not a hype song at all. Tennessee Fan by Morgan Wallen. Hey Siri, play dubstep music. Dubstep now playing. Okay, okay. I have no idea what the song is. Okay, yep, this is the song for today, I guess. Never heard it before. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. That's a f dandy song. Alright, so we're off to the gym here for only one training. Okay, at least, you know, it's just Wednesday training, just an easy training today. I'm about an hour late for training, which is not fun when Wednesdays I only train around three hours, so now it becomes two hours. But hey, you know, maybe, maybe it's God, you know, send me a little sign to just take it, take it a little easier with training to make my easy day even easier. But we're just gonna do some, uh, probably just some high bar and P bar dismounts today for training, so it's, it's chill, it's chill. And if you're wondering why, like, I'm in a hurry and stuff, I always have a massage every Wednesday at one o'clock, so. Cause usually I don't really care if I'm late, cause if I'm late I can just keep training, cause it doesn't matter, I don't have anything to go to or anything to do. But Wednesdays I have to be on time, cause if I'm late then I get less training. And of course, today, this Wednesday, I'm late. But uh, mm, today's car ride. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk today about gymnastics okay teach you guys you know a little bit about the sport so you guys can kind of for the non gymnasts out there to you know understand kind of what's going on like why what's what what's where are you trying to focus on when you're working on your skills because usually when I talk about gym I just kind of talk about like how to do the skills while I'm doing it and usually for the car I talk so I'll just talk about motivational stuff but you know Today I'm gonna try and think of all the things I can tell you to help you understand the sport a little bit. So uh, first things first, your toes. Yeah, we're gonna start from the bottom up here, okay? Toes, they have to be pointed in pretty much every single skill you do. Cause uh, if they're flexed, then you lose one tenth. If your knees are supposed to be straight, so if you're not doing a back tuck or any sort of tucking flip, so if your knees are supposed to be straight and they're bent, I don't really know what the, the you, it, usually no one ever has them like fully bent because if they're fully bent then you get credit for a tuck skill but usually if you're doing a laid out skill where your legs are supposed to be straight and if they're a little bit bent if they're a little bit bent one tenth if they're very bent three tenths and in gymnastics there's small medium and large deductions so one tenth three tenth or five tenths is the deduction options and then for landings if you like land and you take one little step a foot length of a step is one tenth. If you take any more than like the length of your foot for a step, it's three tenths. And then there's no five tenths. It's just one and three for all landings everywhere. And then for skills, I right, let me give you a quick little little rundown of uh, you know skills. So you can, because once I explain skills to you a little bit, you're gonna understand why uh, we're always trying to be so perfect and so clean with our routines. So um, I'm trying to explain this for non-gymnasts out there. So uh, skills are valued at like leather letters. So like an A is one tenth, a B is two tenths, a C is three tenths, a D four. Okay, and it goes all the way up to an I because no one's done anything harder than something valued at an eye. But the best way I can describe it for you, because you're not gonna know the whole code of points if you don't know gymnastics too well. So uh, anything that looks so simple, like it's not even part of my routine, like it's just the easiest thing ever, is probably an A. If it looks like I'm doing a skill, but it's like, oh, that skill looks, that looks super easy to him, but it looks like a skill in his routine, it's probably a B. Like the start of my high bar routine, that little thing where I straddle my legs and then I go up to handstand. That's a B. And then things that look like kind of hard, but not too, too hard, probably a C. Things that look, uh, some Ds I guess I make look easy. But uh, high bar, that little thing where I do the pop full turn on high bar is valued at uh, C. That thing where my legs go in, and then I push out into a half turn. That's valued at a D. I'm just kind of giving you rundowns of skills, so you know you can have a you can have an idea of what things are worth. But yeah, to put this into uh, perspective for you, my first skill on floor: double, double, two flips, two twists, tucked. That's worth five tenths, so it's an E. 
valued at an E. And now if I were to do uh, that uh, skill, sorry, and I take a big step, I lose three tenths. So then I'm only gaining two tenths. Then it's as if I did a back layout stuck, you know? But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that more on the, uh, the next car ride or something because uh, this car ride I was kind of more focused on just getting to the gym in a hurry because we were, we were late. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside. Red zone, dead zone, kill zone, war zone. All right, fucking deadly. Let's get to work, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the gym. Hi. Right. A little bit of high wire, a little bit of pee bars, nothing too crazy, I guess, today. Oh, yeah, check out this. Crucifix clothing. Okay, someone sent me this shirt, the owner of the clothing brand. But uh, the cool thing about this shirt is uh, on the back it has John 13.7, one of the things I've written on my arm. That's what it looks like on the back. It's got the whole uh, scripture written out. Uh, and the coolest part about it was, uh, remember on day 137, where I got you guys to comment, John 13.7? On that exact day is the day the owner of this uh, company DM me asking if I wanted a free shirt. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird how everything, you know, worked out so, like, perfectly for me to get the shirt with the quote of 13.7 on day 137. Cool. All right, high bar, let's get started. See how it feels, and then we'll decide what we're doing. Maybe I'll just do in-bar stuff, dismounts, maybe just dismounts, maybe just in-bar stuff. We'll We'll see. And for the people that uh, DM me asking for my playlists, uh, if you search up my name on Apple Music, uh, some of my playlists are on there. But if you go on SoundCloud, that's where you find all my good stuff. We got sad music, loud music, mashups, hard style, and grind season playlists. We're gonna go with my mashups playlist today. And a mashup is literally like 100 songs combined together. Amen. Oh, what a dance with some mom. Oh, hands are sore. Dead lay. See that? T-shirt. T-shirt gave me flight powers. Actually, the one I did Coleman before I did any other sort of skill, uh, release moves like that are easier than stoop half and quas and all that stuff. The only difference between release moves and the, you know, in-bar skills is uh, release moves you have to like really go for it. In-bar skills you have to like use power and technique to do it correctly. But release moves you kind of just let go. So it was easier to warm up a release move first than it was to warm up a quas. That's why I did that order. Which might seem crazy to some people. The dismount was actually really good. I really kicked up more than I usually do, which is nice. We're gonna do a few more sets of uh, whatever type of skills I decide to do and then dismount. The main thing is I just have to do a dismount at the end of whatever my turn is. So this turn we'll do like stoop half and some stuff and then dismount. Main, main goal on Wednesdays is just dismount day. Good set. <laughs> okay, next set. Let's try and get that stoop full in there, shall we? Shoot full felt 
pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. All right, last dismount. We're gonna just go cross dismount. We're gonna try double double. I've done that one in a couple months. All right, we're gonna try one more. Um, we're gonna see if we can kick up. Cause all my double layout falls, you know, I was kicking like here nicely. And then I did my double double there. So we're gonna try and bring it up. It was better though, right? It was a little bit better. A little bit better. Slow progress. It's still progress. All right, time for P-Bars. Last event of the day, last of the two events that we're doing today. Before we leave, just dismounts, okay? I'm, I'm deciding right now, do I want to do support stuff plus dismount, or do I want to just do like 20 dull pikes and nothing else? So we'll warm up and we'll see. All right, that was supposed to be the first set, but uh, it's not. All right, first set. Same set. Like fighting for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it hurt. When I caught the diamond off, I caught it like this. So when I swung down, I swung down sideways. And I caught the one and a quarter over here. Thank God I was quick enough to save it so I didn't land on the bar. But me flipping my hand to save it hurt my shoulder. So we're just gonna do, uh, we're just gonna do a few dull pikes now. Okay, yeah, there's a few more dismounts. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna try one more set of that same thing I just did. Because I want to make one side of this where I do all four sports plus this one. Do a few more dough pikes just by themselves. So I hurt my knees and ankles a lot. This no doesn't count if you don't do And go leg straight. Feels off. No point in forcing. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of training. High bar was good. P bars was not the best. If I'm being honest, okay. Uh, that hurt. 
my knees and ankles so much on that one where I under rotated, which is so weird. I kept messing up keyboard wire dismounts. And then I got to the point where that last one I did there, I figured, okay, we're done. There's no point in forcing a bunch of, bunch more shitty dismounts because that's clearly the way they were gonna be. And I had to leave for my massage anyway, so I wasn't wasting time to do 10 more bad dismounts. I don't know what was wrong with them. I really don't know what to tell you. The swing and everything, it felt relatively normal to how it usually is. Maybe Maybe a little weaker but not so much weaker that I should have died so that's weird and then I kept messing them up even when I did it just dismount by itself I don't know I don't know what happened you can go back and watch every single vlog of me doing PY dismounts and I don't think I've ever had a day where it was like it was like that I've had days where the dismounts have been bad like that but the swing and the energy level and everything felt like shit today the energy level and the swing all felt good but the dismount was just horrible and the swing felt correct but the item it was wild okay so we're just we're gonna felt like just cutting her off there leave for my massage and yeah, uh, I feel like today's video is going to be extremely short, which is kind of nice, you know, just uh, a nice casual editing day, you know, not too much to edit, because last two videos were 30 minutes and 34 minutes. 34 minutes, yesterday's video, I think it was my longest video I've ever made. So yeah, to, to ease it back, today's video is just a nice short video. But all in all, training was alright, showed up late, did a more casual training because of it, and that's fine with me, you know, last two days of training were intense so might as well just go a little bit easier today but yeah again if you watch full video enjoy glad to hear that if you watch full video comment the word doors d-o-o-r-s doors okay awesome thanks for watching bye i love you